Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I wanted to share with you some new releases over at Freckled Fawn, and this one I think you guys are really going to love and is going to be a must-have. So I'm pretty new to the Freckled Fawn family. I've only been on the creative team for a few months, um, so I am getting these kits sent to me each month to review for you guys and to share different product ideas and things like that. Um, and so I didn't realize that this black and white um, set is an annual thing that they do. And I love that. So what I have here is a, the kit, the six by eight kit. And then there's uh, some additional add-ons as well. Uh, over at Freckled Fawn, they have such a variety of kit options. Um, they've got a kit that's got traveler's notebook size papers. You can get just the ephemera. You can get a journal, the journaling cards. You can get the journaling cards with product. You can get everything a la carte individual. So they have lots of options. And then while I was popping over to the website, it looks like they also have the delightful digital. So I'm scrolling through the digital section. I don't know if this is something new and I just hadn't realized it was over there, um, but they have past kit elements in digital form and they are super inexpensive. The beautiful florals from a few months ago, they have journaling cards from past kits um, for like between one and four dollars for the printables. So if you missed out on a kit or maybe you loved a kit and want some additional product from that kit, or if you wanted to piece together and do your own, or again, if you live overseas and shipping's kind of, you know, crazy expensive for you, you can do the digital format as well. So I love that they have just a variety of options depending on what works for you and the type of projects that you're creating. So let's dive in and take a look at the December uh, kit and then the add-ons. Let's talk about the add-ons because these are not part of the kit. These are a separate element in the shop. Um, and so they have these two set of um, rainbow stickers. They're two separate um, items in the shop. These are so cute. So there's these little rainbows. They are individual stickers. So you could stick down your rainbow um, in one whole color or because they're, you know, it, you've got columns here, you could mix and match the different pieces in the different colors to create your own custom colored rainbow. You know, rainbows are very on trend this year. We've seen them in lots of different scrapbooking lines and Bible journaling products and rainbows are just kind of everywhere. So I love that you have these fun little rainbow puffy stickers. They are a little bit puffy here. Uh, they're just they're just really cute. So again, you can mix and match and I'll be trying to incorporate those into some projects um, this month for you guys. So that is an add on item that is separate from the kit in the shop. Everything will be linked down below as well as a um, blog post with close up photos. I won't really be doing color matches because this kit is their annual black and white kit. So my understanding is that they do a black and white kit in um, December. And this is great because these products can be mixed and matched with past kits and future kits. So this is going to be one of those ones that if you haven't ordered from Freckle Fawn before, you might want to grab this one because it'll be very easy to use, not just with Freckled Fawn products, um, but other kits. You know, if you're a Bible journaler, planner, whatever it might be, um, these are just great staple paper crafting items to have in your stash that you can mix and match with other things. So let's take a look at, let's take a look at the papers first, because I think the journaling cards are pretty similar. Um, so like I mentioned, I have the six by eight kit, um, but then I also have the journaling cards. So you can do the journaling card kit, six by eight kit, traveler's notebook kit, or you can do just the ephemera, lots of different options. Definitely check out the shop. Um, but here are the six by eight papers. I do the six by eight papers because I could cut them down to traveler's notebook size if I wanted. Now the traveler's notebook specific sized ones, the prints are scaled to fit that. So like this paper, for example, is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this. But if you cut it down to six by eight, you would lose, you know, some of your floral embellishment that's on this page. But if you do the six by eight set of papers, she has scaled that paper to be this exact pattern on your traveler's notebook size paper, if that makes sense. But I don't mind. I just I cut mine down if I'm going to be working in a traveler's notebook. But these are also great for my faith filled um, or my faith binder. Um, that is like a six by eight or not six by eight. Yeah, I think it's six by eight pages that go in here. And so I can just use these as a full sheet of paper in this binder is why I go with the six by eight. So um, with the set of papers, they are two of each pattern and they are double sided. So I've gone ahead and flipped them over so that you can see A side, B side. It's a super nice quality paper. So this is this is like cardstock, guys. So if you're using it like I did in my binder, I don't need to double up the paper. If you're using these to do 3D paper crafts, um, 
um, memory decks, cards, things like that. You do not need to double them up, which is super nice. So you have this gorgeous floral pattern. So you will see throughout this kit it is black and white with a little pop of like minty green um, in there, which is just beautiful. So you've got these, um, it almost looks like succulents and, and flowers, but they could all be flowers, just really cute print. And then the back side are these little scribbly black and white hearts. This one, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. It's the little, they're mint green, little butterflies and little greenery pieces in this kind of lattice um, pattern. Super cute, soft, feminine paper. And then a black and white uh, Swiss dot on the back side there. You have a black and white uh, star pattern with a variety of different star sizes. And then this super fun ledger paper is on the back. I know we go nuts for office supplies. And so this ledger paper is super cute. So there's a little pop of pink and mint on that paper. You have mint and white scribbly hearts, kind of like that black and white heart pattern. And then this black and white star pattern. I love using these um, for matting behind my photos because it is a smaller print. So you've got a mix of, you know, that large floral and then some smaller print as well. So there is a look at the six by eight papers. Again, you can order these on their own. So if you're just wanting the papers, you can just order the papers by themselves. Next up is the Alpha. The Alpha is super fun. It is a silver foil. You know, we see tons and tons of gold foil, not a whole lot of silver foil. So um, you've got several of each letter. You do also have a set of numbers. If you saw my unboxing of last month's kit, that was the Christmas kit. That one came with a gold foiled set of Alphas. So this is the exact same um, font and numbers and all that goodness, um, just in a silver foil. So metallic. Oh my gosh, you guys, like it's no joke. It's like a mirror. <laughs> Super cute um, Alva stickers there. Next, we have a set of puffy hearts, again, in black and white. So these are a great staple to have in your stash. Some have some patterns on there, um, and some are just some plain white. These are like a matte puffy, so you might be able to color these with... Um, maybe paints or inks or markers. And um, if you're really careful, you could maybe, you know, custom color these if you wanted to play with that. But you've got a variety of sizes and, you know, different shapes to the hearts, which I, I like that because sometimes I'm, you know, I don't want just the standard symmetrical heart. I want something that's kind of wonky. So you've got a variety in that sheet of puffy heart stickers. Next are the wood veneer. I love the wood veneer pieces from Freckle Fawn. They always offer some really fun um, embellishment pieces. So this month you're getting two of these little scalloped frames. How adorable are these? You can leave these just raw wood, but I like to paint mine. Um, I like to use distress paints, especially the ones with the dauber top. It's super easy to paint these, or you can do them with inks and dyes and things like that and just kind of dress them up. If you're going to be doing a color on here, I would suggest doing a base layer of white paint first and then going over with the color, and that would give you a nice, vibrant um, color. If you just go straight in with your color, um, that wood grain kind of mutes the color a little bit. So if you're wanting like super vibrant, or just these paints in general, the distress paints are nice and opaque. And so I can get away with just going in um, with an opaque paint. But so you've got two of those. The size is here because I'm sure I'll get questions. The large one is about two inches by two and a half. And then this one looks to be about one and a half by two-ish. Lots of ish. Okay, so there's those little um, wood frames there. Next up, you have washi stickers. So you get two sets of the same patterns here. These are made out of washi, like washi material. So you can tear them like washi tape. You've got a, these calendar strips up here. Those are super cute. You've got some hearts. This was fantastic. Stripes and dots. You've got this fun floral pattern, an awesome weekend this really pretty kind of lace doily down there and then again some more calendar pieces down there so this is super cute this would be cute for um planners 
Uh, if you're doing like pocket pages and that kind of thing, you know, kind of marking off the month and the day and the year is super cute. The years do have 28, 2019, 2020, and 21. So if you're going backwards and documenting, I know not all of us are documenting like, you know, exactly today. A lot of people are documenting past year's photos and things. So I love that they give you those year options for past years. So you do get two sheets of those in the washi stickers. Next up, we have the sheet of label stickers. These are, again, kind of a staple in my stash. You get a variety of different sizes and shapes. You've got some circle ones. Love that lace doily. Take note, some bigger ones. Um, if you wanted to type on these, I have typed on them before. I either stick them to the paper directly and then just fussy cut it out after I've run it through my typewriter, um, or you could attach it to like wax paper and then run it through. Um, that's a little bit more squirrely. <laughs> Don't have as good of luck, but you can type on top of these. If you're stamping on these, I would suggest using like an archival or stays on ink, not your pigment inks, because there is a little bit of a coating to it. Um, and so you don't want to smear your inks, but you've just got a fun variety of different labels um, on your label sticker sheet there. Next up are the chipboard stickers. These I love from Freckled Fawn because they already have adhesive on the back side of them. Um, I don't know about you, but there are those you know the ones, the popular 12 by 12 chipboard stickers. And you have to like pull the sticker off and then the sticker's exposed and you got to commit to it. These are nice because they pop out of here. And so the adhesive state, like the protective sheet stays on there. So you can kind of test it out, try it out on your layout and then remove the backer sheet and stick it down, which is really nice. Or for storage, you know, I store a lot of my products in um, these acrylic drawers. And so I separate them by colors. And so if I wanted to go ahead when I'm done with a kit and break this down, I can separate these by color in those drawers. And I don't have to worry about losing the stickiness because they are protected with that backer sheet. But they are also, they have adhesive on them. So you don't have to worry about what type of adhesive to use. Sometimes when you're using chunkier embellishments, you know, you want to make sure you're using a really good adhesive. You don't have to worry about these because they already have the adhesive on there. So here's a set of chipboard stickers. You've got um, little pops of that mint green in there, but for the most most part it's black and white you see that like sketchy floral pattern um, these are super cute little banners those are adorable you've got this was fantastic all the good things hey friend this is our happy place love this so very awesome so some great phrases to match with your photos or even in bible journaling you know remember this so very awesome love this um all the good things. This was fantastic. So these are some icons and things that you can use in Bible journaling. I know sometimes it's hard to use um, scrapbooking supplies in your Bible just because the phrases don't match what we're doing in our Bible, but this would be a great set for that. They are chipboard if you're wanting to work in a traveler's notebook or your Bible, and you're not wanting the thickness of chipboard, you can peel off the back layers of chipboard. So you can kind of separate this. I'll show you here. And that thins it out. You do lose the adhesive, so you'd have to use your own adhesive. Um, but that is a way to thin out your chipboard pieces if you're you know, worried about chunk. This is super cute. This little life piece with that um, kind of notebook paper or um, ledger paper pattern is super adorable. So there are the chipboard stickers. And then last but not least are the journaling cards. Now remember, these are not in addition to the six by eight papers. You have to pick which one you want to do or order them um, individually. So again, you get two um, two sets of each pattern. They are double sided. These are three by four cards. These are super so, so cute. Again, if you are a Bible journaler, these are great for um, doing tip-ins and doing more private prayer journaling. You could cut them into a tag shape and make a little pocket and stick them in a pocket. Or if you are a pocket scrapbooker, of course, they're going to be perfect for that. These are so, so cute. And again, a good kind of staple item to have in your stash because a lot of it is black and white. Um, and so it's very easy to mix and match with other lines. This mint green, we see a ton in the scrapbooking world. So again, I think you could be very easily mix and match these with other scrapbooking products as well. So you've got a variety. You've got some that you can do some journaling on. You've got some like list making style ones. You have some like decorative filler cards you can add some embellishment to. Um, like these ones, I like to 
to add like the puffy stickers um, on there as some embellishment or enamel stickers, something like that. There's lots of different cute ways that you can use these. So there's a look at the three by four journaling cards and the rest of the December release. Definitely head on over and check out the shop. Again, look at that digital section. I was really surprised and happy to find that because you know sometimes I have my favorite pieces and then I use them up and I want more of them. And so you can get more of the journaling cards and that kind of thing in the digital section. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Head on over to the blog post for more close-up photos. I probably won't have color matching because really it's just black and white. So it's pretty easy to color match. Um, so check out the description box for links to everything. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you click on that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos from me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.